So look, here's the deal. We need to talk about a few things in terms of the direction of this channel. If you are watching this video, this should be coming out on Monday. We just talked about uh, all the things that happened uh, off screen on the vlog on this stream. So if you want to check that out, go check out the old live stream. We spent an hour telling you guys how my experience was with all the things I couldn't record for you. But the purpose of this video is to lay down some groundwork as to what you can expect from this channel moving forward, because there are a lot of things that are going to be changing over here over time. They're not all going to be immediate changes, but I want to make my audience aware of what my mindset is, what my plan is moving forward. Number one, I don't want you guys to think that I've forgotten about uh, becoming Twitch partner, okay? So that is still the mission. I need eight more streams this month, which does not give me a lot of time, but I need eight more streams this month where I am averaging 75 viewers per stream on Twitch. The views are tanked. I know a lot of people are going back to school and a lot of people got other obligations. We've grown the YouTube audience back, all that. Let me just say this real quick. After much consideration, I said I will say this. I like the majority of my audience being on YouTube more. However, once I get partner, I never lose it. We never have to do this push to becoming a Twitch partner ever again. So this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm asking. This is the third time and hopefully the last time I'm making this video. Starting Monday, the 16th, we are going to stream every day up until me leaving for TwitchCon, which is on the 19th. We're going to be streaming the 16th. 17th and the 18th every single day i stream those three days giving away v bucks every 30 minutes again we're gonna do that those are your first three streams out of eight then the following week i get back on a monday i'm not streaming that monday i am resting however if i want to do this before the month is up i need five more streams we're gonna stream on tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday of the following week so that would be the 24th through the 28th same formula v bucks every 30 minutes we're going back to that so the rules are simple same as last time only thing you got to do to participate you have to be on twitch you got to be present you don't wait v bucks every 30 minutes somebody somebody's winning something and there will be additional ways for you guys to earn v bucks as uh uh throughout the throughout the course of the stream okay i'm not going to be giving any v bucks until that first stream which once again is going to be monday the 16th so next week i'm going to be streaming every day until i leave for twitchcon and then when i come back we're going to stream every day moving forward so 16th through the 18th and then 24th through the 28th that's gonna be our streaming schedule those are our eight days that we need once that is done october 5th is when i can apply for twitch partner we, we did we did great for august august we we, we hit the mark but september we're kind of we're kind of falling by the wayside Whew. Lord, September, if we can just recover it, get those eight streams, get them 75 viewers per stream, we'll be in good shape. Just a heads up, those streams might be, those streams might be shorter. Um, they're probably only gonna be about two hours long each, but that means bare minimum, there's gonna be four giveaway winners per stream. You're, you're gonna have four chances to win V-Bucks per stream because you can technically win more than once, I guess. So I'm not gonna stop people from winning more than once. <laughs> We're doing that, we still, we need to get Twitch partner. And once I get Twitch partner, Next year's TwitchCon, I will be able to go in the partner room, which at that point, I don't even know if it's going to make a difference. That's not the only thing we need to talk about today. After this, after we get this done, the content on the channel is going to switch up slightly. Who's following me in the middle of me talking? This is what I've come to realize, what I want you guys to understand. This will segue into the next thing that I'm going to talk about It's going to change. I think I would rather be known as a YouTube streamer more than a Twitch streamer. That doesn't mean I don't love Twitch. And if you prefer to watch on Twitch, that's totally fine. But I like the community that, we grow, that we've grown on YouTube. I think it looks better for my channel when the majority of my audience is chilling on YouTube. The streams typically do better. They get out to more people. YouTube favors me in the algorithm more. I even think my videos do better as a result. Like it's a whole ecosystem that works between like the discoverability of my videos and the discoverability of the, uh, of the long, uh, you know, my long form content and all that. So I want to keep that up. I want to keep that momentum going. I like the the funnel that I have where I upload a video on Saturday, Monday, I have a live stream on YouTube. Everybody that everybody that subscribed on Saturday comes to the stream for the first time on, on Monday. We have more, we, we've already got a bustling stream full of people rather than having my audience split. But I also see the advantage of Twitch. You always want to diversify your your content so having like just the option of being twitch partner is always going to be beneficial and like i said once we get this done got just eight more days that's it eight more days is all i'm asking for once we get twitch partner after basically after october 5th what i want to do is i want to start experimenting with other types of content other types of live streams play other games i've been trying to do this for a while this does not mean that the fortnite content is going anywhere it doesn't mean that we're getting away from fortnite however i have more interests in my life 
other than playing Fortnite, and even some of you guys have asked me to play other games. Once a week, I would like to try to play something that has nothing to do with Fortnite. So what I'm going to do, what my plan is, there's two games in the back of my mind that are coming up within the next month. First of all, there's me and Loot Station are huge Terminator fans. There's a new Terminator video game that's coming out. Uh, Loot and I said that we wanted to do dedicated streams playing that. Also, it's spooky season, Halloween. It's gonna be kind of a horror kind of a game. It's like it's like a open world survival game. Loot and I are probably gonna play that. I I'm gonna play some other horror games, maybe with my friends during October. So that'll be cool. I wanna do that with you guys. So keep that in mind, number one. Number two, I want to play Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. The latest trailer for that just came out. We're getting, we confirmed GT characters, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, Vegeta, Gogeta, Omega Shenron, uh, Baby. This is gonna be the greatest Dragon Ball game of all time. You guys know I love Dragon Ball games. I've played Dragon Ball games on the channel before. I wanna play Dragon Ball uh, Sparking Zero with subscribers. Okay, with, with followers, I am down to give y'all these hands. There's uh, there's even a Dragon Ball YouTuber that I uh, that I've talked with recently. I've talked about doing a, a stream with him. There's other games that we should be playing. Oh, also one of y'all mentioned uh, Black Ops Six. I want to do a Black Ops Six stream. Why not? Why not play Black Ops Six? There's a lot of games coming out over the next few months. I think it would be cool to have one day a week where we play something different. And if we're gonna be playing something different once a week, well. Why don't we also turn that into a piece of content? There's going to be other types of content on the channel. If you were watching me live and you heard that, and you heard the story about how I had a conversation with Cypher at uh, FNCS and he gave me a little bit of advice and towards my channel. I don't know if he realizes that it was advice or not, but Cypher gave me a little bit of advice uh, at FNCS in terms of like how he does his content and what's worked for him. Basically the, the gist of it is that like I need to do more evergreen content. So with that being said, I plan on having more evergreen content on this channel. Now, once again, primarily, it's going to be Fortnite. We're gonna be focusing on Fortnite content, but the type of content that I make is going to vary. And that includes not just doing commentary videos, but also some skits. If you remember, recently Loot Station and I just dropped a skit where we pretended to be family-friendly content creators. We got a lot of love in that video. People want us to do a sequel. I think we will. Something that you guys have been asking for for a long time on this channel was a fashion show. Loot and I are debating on doing another video like that, but we do it like kind of like it's a fashion show. So maybe we'll bring some people from the Discord, from both of our Discords to be in the video. We'll do like a little mock fashion show. We'll do the whole, uh, uh, trolley and brisket thing again and we'll we'll actually I'll, it'll be a fashion show video we'll record it live on stream but we'll turn it into a piece of content edit it up it'll be a whole skit and it'll be super funny and just it, it just something different to play around with different types of content on the channel also commentary content is going to be evergreen also also something to keep in mind we are moving into fortnite og territory and fortnite chapter 6 territory i'm going to be very busy for the next three months you're probably going to see me stream bare minimum three times a week starting from like the end of october all the way to december speaking of december i'm also going to have another big christmas stream i don't know exactly what i'm going to do yet but if you were here last year we had a huge christmas stream we gave away once again i think i gave away like <laughs> 120,000 V-Bucks in like five hours. It was ridiculous. I wanna do another big Christmas stream for you guys. So after this Twitch, that this this round of like Twitch giveaways and stuff uh, that we're gonna be doing for the Twitch partner, last push to Twitch partner, next big giveaways uh, section like that will be during Christmas. So that's only a few months away. So give, just give you guys a heads up, we will be doing um, do another big Christmas stream, giving away stuff, giving away gift cards, V bucks, all that. Content on the channel's changing. Told you all that. So it's not just gonna be Fortnite content. Um, I will be experimenting with some of the Dragon Ball content, maybe some of the Terminator content, maybe just whatever, whatever I can get my hands on. I, I just wanna, I wanna diversify a little bit more. We talked about this in the summertime. The issue was. I just didn't have the time to do it between all the promos and preparation and just different things that I had going on. I did not have the time to make all of that content um, or to diversify the content that I want. Plus, here's the other thing too, because I was, I've was i been pushing hard for Twitch partner for the last two and a half, three months, it didn't make sense to play anything other than Fortnite because I know that's what the vast majority of you guys want to watch. I'll just be honest with you guys, I'm super excited right now because once I get Twitch partner, which is something that's been weighing on me for three years now as a content creator, once I get Twitch partner, that not only is that a huge weight off my shoulders, I just like, I am free to stream whatever I want, whenever I want, forever moving forward. I just want you guys to know, I think the content is going to get better. I think the streams are going to get better. I think things are going to be more exciting because I won't have this weighing on me. We will have a greater diversity of content on the channel, on the live streams, everything. I just want my audience to have 
fun because I love you guys. So if you weren't excited before, I hope you're excited now because there's a lot of cool stuff coming. And there's also something really big that I've been working on for the last couple of years that I think will finally come to fruition next year. I'm aiming for the 1st of June or the end of May for this. And I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I started this project last, <laughs> what would it have been? I think it was June 28th. June 28th is when I started this. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but this is, uh, this is a big one in many ways. <laughs> it's a very big project. So, um, I will, that one, I'm going to really start ramping up and get, get to work on when I get back from TwitchCon, but that I will not unveil to you until next year. So. A lot of big stuff coming down the pipeline. I'm very excited and I want you guys to be too. I know that most of you listening to my voice have subscribed to me for Fortnite content, but I want you to know that regardless of if it's Fortnite content or something else, I hope it is my hope that you enjoy whatever it is that I produce here. And just know that I want it to ultimately like whatever, whatever I'm doing, I want it to be for the benefit of the community and also just to grow the channel and the brand and just for everybody to have fun. Eat, look, if you've never watched Dragon Ball in your life, come to a stream, hang out with the community, have fun, bro. Just come vibe. And even over the next few weeks, like if you're one of the people that like watching my videos, and you've never come to a live stream, come to Twitch. Even if you don't get some V bucks, at least you'll have the chance to you get, you're getting the chance to get some. And there's so many dope people in the community that you can hang out with, which all the dope people, so spam some W's and spam some chicken, all right? Going to FNCS, it, it opened my mind up to so many things. I learned so much. I, I, I saw so much stuff. I really got a better idea of my potential as a content creator. It showed me better where I'm at right now in my career, but I want to push it even further. And if we're gonna do that, we have to start changing up some things around here. I want you to know, I love you so much. Thank you to every single person, whether you're watching me live right now or you're listening to the recording of this, I want you to know, you have changed my life forever and I appreciate you. And things are going to get so much better on this channel. I just hope if you're listening to me, you're along for the ride. I love y'all. That's it. <laughs>